All right, I'm going to go see Skillet from Memphis, Tennessee. They're going to play Thursday night, September the 26th at the world-famous Agora uh, with a couple of special guests. Tim Montana, who actually opened the Bush Jerry Cantrell show last night, if you got there early enough to see him. Stansbury had him on yesterday. He's coming back in September. And Royal Lynn, who's kind of like a punk country artist. Good lineup, Skillet doing fall dates with Seether. So this is right before they head out on that, I think. So, Skillet, caller 10. Want to see him at the Agora this fall? AXS.com for any info I might have left out. Caller 10, these are yours. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. If he sounds super excited to see you... Hey, what's up? Remember, he is a paid performer. As a broadcaster, he's real good. Alan Cox on 100.7 WMMS. Uh, 35192, you want to text, watch live, if you like, at alancockshow.com. How was your show last night, by the way? My show was great, other than uh, a small incident. <laughs> Not often. I like incidents of any size. Uh, it was a great show. Brian Kenny came out to close it out, do a little set where the judges were judging. If you don't know, we're doing a contest at Brothers Lounge every Tuesday. The grand prize of $500 to the winner. Oh, pardon and, me. Uh, I believe you'll be judging that final. Mm-hmm. Uh, but during one person's set, someone started heckling, and I assessed the room like, who's yelling at this comic? This is from the like a darkened back corner of the room or yeah, something? Yeah, you know Brothers Lounge. So yeah. It's right by the sound booth. Mm-hmm. There's a guy standing over there, and he's- On the bar side of the sound booth. No, he was on the- The doorway side. Doorway side. Okay. Which actually worked out good, because as I looked over, uh, it was Cleveland's very own guitar man. <laughs> yeah. I don't now, know explain that. to people who this is, because you might have seen him and yes. not known- he this is, is the old dude. an old dude with long gray hair, kind of chubby, and he dresses like a superhero. Kind of chubby. Around. Yeah, he's a bigger guy. He got a little belly going on. Uh, and he uh, walks around Cleveland. He'll walk up and down 4th Street and or, like when there's Guardians games and stuff like that uh, to and just play his guitar. You can Google it him and you'll see news articles about him and stuff like that uh never really interacted with him until yesterday because when i went over and asked him to please not yell at the comedians on stage because they're only doing five minutes we don't want to this is not a crowd work contest this is Is he drunk material no he was just trying to make the show about believe you're not this is just crazy alan the guy that's dressed like a superhero (laughs) That carries an acoustic guitar oh, around I know with you're him. Talking yeah, about now. he's on yeah. he's on East Fourth like a, a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, wanted attention to be focused on him. I see. And so I asked him to please not do that. And he goes, "Well, I'm only here to see so and so." And I said, "Well, so and so is not on this show. I talked to him earlier. He thought this was an open mic. It is a booked show. Oh, he can be booked on the show in the future. You're welcome to come back. You're welcome to watch the show, but please." Don't yell out at the So he comedians. told, this is a person who told his uncle, Guitar Superman, that he was going to be on a comedy show. It wasn't an uncle. I think he, he was a friend. Because the guy that was well, I'm there being earlier, cheeky, but I mean, yeah, he yeah. told him, hey, I'm going to yeah. be on this show. Yeah, so he was he was there to try and support a friend, which is great. We love that. But when it's not your friend, show respect to the other people that are performing. The people that signed up that are, you know, it was a great show. It was a packed room. And... He just wouldn't shut up, and so I was like, "Hey, if you don't want to be here, if you don't want to be quiet, then I'm gonna have to ask you to leave." And he's like, "Fine, I didn't want to stay anyway," and like screams "F you" on his way out, and it's like, "What a what a nice." And man. he wasn't drunk. No, I don't he's think just so. that. Bel- How he's are just you that belligerent? Yeah. Listen, I've never interacted with that man, but I've seen him, and if you've ever spent any appreciable amount of time downtown, you've probably seen him too. And he's an older guy that wears mm-hmm. like a. Doesn't he wear a mask, which yeah. Superman did not wear? Okay, yeah. so anyway, he's taking liberties with 
uh, with uh, the lore of mm-hmm. Superman. Anyway, he wears like a Lone Ranger mask, yeah. and he wears a, an ill-fitting Superman suit. He's got kind of like long gray hair, and he's got a beard, and he carries a, a guitar around. And you would think a guy like that would be committed to... Truth, uh, justice in the American way. Not only that, <laughs> absolutely, but just um, bringing some joy to people's lives. Why else are you walking around well, like that? Well, that's why he thought... You, he He's thought he been, was doing that. Well, by, but, but once my thought is, once you are told that, that you're not getting the desired effect, hang back. Stand down. There's a lot of people that when you approach them, and I, when I'm doing this, you know, I'm running the show, and it's it's a reflection on me. So I want the performers to have the best shot to, to perform in front of a crowd that's there to hear their jokes and in, in, laugh and have a good time right so i'm very stern i do not yell i don't swear but i am very stern about it you rule with an iron fist i mean it's your show because he was being so disrespectful i go hey and like and i was just again the way you're talking to a child the first time before you have to yell at him Mm -hmm. he's like be quiet enjoy the show if you can't do that you have to leave and when some adults get approached with that they can't handle getting in trouble because a few weeks ago there was another lady and she was drunk and i asked her to be quiet and she's like i'm being quiet i'm like you're being so loud and she's like why would i approach you if you were being quiet i'm not not singling you out because i i I don't like you i just am trying to show respect to also the other audience members that are there to watch the show and enjoy the show yeah which the you know main character syndrome is prevalent with those types of people where they're like well why wouldn't anybody want to hear what i'm saying especially the guitar guy he's like oh i'm the guitar man who doesn't want to hear what i got to say yeah except you should be speaking through your instrument that's why you're carrying a guitar Mm -hmm. because you don't really have anything to say that people want to hear you know that everybody knows that but he couldn't believe that well why didn't he sign up for the competition then he didn't even know it was a competition oh he thought it was an open mic comedy. He thought night. he was disrupting a regular show. And he thought yeah. it was, and if it's not his friend on stage, then why should he have to pay attention or be respectful to anybody except his friend? I see. Which is just a wild, arrogant way. But to I think. bet if his friend had gone up and somebody else had heckled, Superman would have sprung into action. Well, he, I've seen the guy. He probably would have limped into action. <laughs> Mary, you're in Columbus tonight. Tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. Mary, you're I in Columbus. You're, I hope you're not there Three tonight. <laughs> you're, you're, sorry. I, I forget where everybody is. Uh, you're in Columbus tomorrow night. Yes. What the, if, go ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. What if there's uh, someone dressed as another character heckling at your show? I will uh, double down yeah. and be more Superman than them. Okay. Unless well, it's not Superman. Let's say it's the Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Yeah, one of my favorites. If the Green Lantern heckles me... Man, I don't know enough about Just costumes. make him watch even, the Green Lantern. I even riff on this. I was like, who's the Green Lantern's bad guy? I don't know <laughs> what this is. Um, no, it's the inaugural Columbus Comedy Festival this weekend. It's oh, their really? First, their first They've one. never done a comedy festival in Columbus? Never, never called it that. Never called it that. Wow. So they used to do an old one called Whiskey Bear. Um, but this is place. like the Columbus Comedy Festival, and I'm headlining a show tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Yep. at a venue called The Key. So any Columbus listeners that want to come on out tomorrow night, um, yeah, I'll be doing a show for this festival. I'm actually really excited. It's a crazy good lineup. Um, there's so much going on down in Columbus this weekend as far as stand-up goes, and uh, I felt very honored that they asked me to be one of their one of their headliners for the first year. So I'm excited about it. Well, you're an Ohio comedy icon, yes? I try to be. Uh-huh. I said that in my post because, you know, they were like, hey, we want to post some stuff on Instagram, so just send us a quick thing. And I was like, I am dying to be back around Midwesterners. I just want to talk about euchre and corn <laughs> and and a festival, like, you know, like a fair, not because this is county fair season. Euchre and you corn. Know? That's it. I just want to be around people who understand. I think the state fair is still, is it still going? No, that is was, that uh, no, Ohio State Fair, I think ended a week before last. Uh. <gasps> I know I missed the Cuyahoga County Fair last week. Mm. But I'm like, I need to talk to people who. Or a buddy Rob Ward is on this. Yeah, yeah there's, a lot, there's a lot tonight. of people. Yeah, yeah. there's a, Michael a ton Ian of Black. People. Yeah, it's huge. They really, they really blew it all out for the for the inaugural inaugural year. So if you're down Columbus Way, come see me tomorrow night, 7 p.m. at the Key. Seven o'clock. 
Seven o'clock. With Chloe Radcliffe and Tom Thakar. That's a different show. Those are different shows. She's headlining a show. Oh, they I'm all headlining say, my own show. They all say 7 o'clock. There are multiple shows going on they at the same have, time. They have like 14 Way too shows many shows. <laughs> is that what it is? What did they used to call it if this is the first time they're calling it the Columbus Comedy this, Festival? This is different organizers than anybody else. This is else. a completely yeah. different production company and everything. Uh, so this is their first crack at a comedy festival. Gotcha. I so think- I will... I have the link is up on my Instagram at Mary Santora Comedy. If you want to go in the Columbus area and grab tickets, um, use that link because there are a, I think there's like 17 shows going on tomorrow. But mine is at seven at the key. ColumbusComedyFest.com. Yes. Joe Briggs is going to be down there. There's Ramon's going to be down there. A lot of uh, Cleveland representation. Rob Ward, like you said. Rob Ward's headlining tonight. Yeah. You're on a show with Ty Moore and Carter Doherty. There it is. Oh, Carter's yes. I don't know who they Akron. are. Carter's a very funny dude. Okay. Yeah. I don't know Ty, but Carter's very funny. Carter uh, featured for me, if anybody came in March to the Funny Stop in Cuyahoga Falls, Carter featured for me there. So that. I mean, I'm sure some guy. people came. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the guy who will be there. You had a crowd. I did. Yeah. I'm saying if anybody currently listening. <laughs> At this very moment. <laughs> I see. Yes. All right. Understood. Yes. I'm sure Brian is absolutely thrilled about Mary not caring what she looks like anymore. Awesome job, Mary. Good for you, by the way. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. It's like Costanza. He's like, I would drape myself in velvet if it were socially acceptable. And then, of course, he meets Krista Miller, and she doesn't care at all. She doesn't care what he looks like. I don't really think he cares at all either way what i wear do you know what i mean that yeah no i, I feel at yeah. it from like a oh you're giving up on life and yeah. it's like no but if i want to wear a certain pair of pants or a dress i'm not going to think twice about it yeah it's not like you're giving up on like li- looking she said nothing you. matters that's why i was trying to make yeah. the distinction she make sure she's not going to throw a belt over the shower curtain no, rod. No, no, this is a positive. I know, matters. I understand. <laughs> I'm clarifying for people who are coming in halfway matters, through. Alan, not the negative. Oh, nothing matters. Not the Frederick mm-hmm. Nietzsche type. It's more yeah. the Mary Santora type. People, yeah, just let yourself go. He's going to leave you like he's been wanting to. <laughs> I feel like if like he wanted been to, wanting it'd been, to, where since did that come from? Lived, uh, it's not hard to do. Five hundred miles away for the past. Eight yeah. months. I feel like if he wanted to, he'd be like, "Yeah, we done." Right. Like, yeah. It's... Bye, girl. Do you think he would text you, break up, or you think he would call you? I think he'd come time. see you. That's a FaceTime. No, that, he would FaceTime. do it when we were in person. Ooh. Really? He, he wouldn't would do it in person? No, he would. I'm oh saying. yeah, yeah. Okay. He would wait until whatever. Either I was home or he was out here. Yeah. We kind of talked. He would do it in person. We kind of talked about this on the Cleveland America podcast. But where would you break up with somebody and like you really want to devastate them and ruin something for them? At the wedding. No, no, no. <laughs> well, the wedding. That's a good one. Do but it like, at the altar. What like, are you talking like about? Like if I. But like if Brian broke up with you at the <laughs> Cuyahoga County Fair. I would be very sad about that. <laughs> oh, you, you don't mean actively. Wait, you mean actively ruin something for them? Yeah, like something that you guys... Like, like taint so, the memory yeah. of fairs for me. And you yeah, would do that on purpose. Yes, to really make it... St- really? Yeah. But you're breaking up with somebody. Why are you trying to make it terrible for them? Because you're really like it's already mad at it's, it's already... Get, it's you. just a, it's a dumb scenario. No, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to follow it through because yeah. I wouldn't... I don't think I've ever been in a breakup where I wanted them to... Well, it's just Think of it as like a, a reverse proposal where you set a scene for the So proposal. an anti-posal. Yeah, and you go, okay, so we're going to do it in this scenic place. It's going to be beautiful. We'll always think of this place. We'll always have good memories of this place whenever we go there. Now take that and turn it into a breakup, you know, a, jumbo, yeah. a jumbotron breakup kind of thing. I'm not flying my uh, both of us all the way to Corsica to do that. Right. But I think it's something that at the wedding, boy, that's the that's the, the wedding, brass ring. That's right a there. great. I one, mean, if but... you really want to hurt them, <laughs> do it. don't tell anybody. But I, I, but I think there. you like the the fair would be a tough one for you. It'd be pretty because that's gonna mess up you... every fair. I don't know though. I like the fair a lot. You could like you could someone... plow through. What if it's the the burrito rib burn off? If someone broke up with me, it's like a a two way street though. Because if someone broke up with me at like a John Mayer concert. I would still be at a John Mayer concert. I'd right. be like, okay, then leave. I'm still going to enjoy this music. Yeah. Like, if huh. I got broken up with at the fair, 
I still can get a gyro and a corn dog okay. and a shake em up lemonade. Like, if you break up with me at she my really favorite- She really is on this positive nothing matters. Yeah. <laughs> if you break up with me at my favorite place, I'm surrounded by all my favorite things that uh. are going to make me feel better. But then you're if, always going to think about that. Here's what would make me mad. Okay. If I went to an all-day metal music festival with Brian okay. as like an, a I love you, I'm going to do this for you, and I hate metal music, and I had no way to leave. And he broke that, up with you at the beginning of it? And he broke it. up with me there, I would be furious. <laughs> but he broke up with you at the very start. It's like, yeah. hey, just so you know, uh, I don't want to be with you anymore. And then he just disappears into the pit, and yeah. you're stuck there. And I'm just there <laughs> in a different state or something. And I'm like, what the F, dude? That would make me very mad. That I'm like, I don't even want to be here. This place sucks. I can't stand this music. There's no good food. It smells <laughs> like, like butthole and afterbirth yes. in here. And now I just got broken up with. And my one reason for being here was those you are, was you yeah. and i paid for the tickets yeah. that would make oh. me really mad but the thing is That's then you break can, up flex. you can never like you can avoid metal music again for the rest of your life so i feel yeah, like but- there's an in between where where it's something that's just going to ruin or taint that like a baseball game or something where it's like yeah you like a lot of things there but boy that's going to be a bad day place. yeah every time you see a guardians logo you're going to be like god damn it yeah Hey, Mary, did you hear Bill said taint? I did hear that. (laughs) Did you hear that? Yeah, Mm -hmm. I got the chops, man. (laughs) Uh, Here you go. I'm. I. W- I don't want to see you anymore. I don't think what? that we. I don't think that we should see each other anymore. No, go closer. I don't care if I see you right now. No, no, no. I don't think that you and I <laughs> should see each other anymore. That's fine. Just go in the pit. I'll be right here. No, no, no. You and I are breaking up. We're I breaking am up? breaking up with you. The hell you are. Are you going to be able to get back to Ohio okay? Because I want to go up and see. I want to get closer and see these guys. I'm setting this place on fire. (laughs) Well, I know where the exits are, so that's no big deal. Listen, I've had a lot of fun having sex with you. (laughs) Thank you. Especially in the hotels. You were uh, were a lioness, Mm -hmm. and we've had some fun. Why are you doing this? But because I want to see these guys and I just I, I want to enjoy the rest of the night. Go. So I'll I'll see you around probably. Go cry in the pit. I'll see you around, okay? Okay. Uh, thanks for the tickets. Oh, that's <laughs> I guess they're done. No, that was short and sweet. Oh, that was beautiful. All right. And scene. It, <laughs> and and scene. scene. Worked out just the way you had envisioned it. Yeah, if I had to like buy a new plane ticket home or something like that, because I'm at. Some well, my thought is all. Festival. My thought is always and listen right for the before you're filming a special. <laughs> I mean, I was like in my late twenties before I ever got to break up with anybody. I always got dumped. But my thought is, if you're breaking up with somebody, there's already kind of some bad feelings there. Why make it even worse? It's just a fun scenario. No, yeah. I understand, <laughs> but no, but there are people doing that. Oh yeah. It's not like you pulled it out of thin air. That's a probably a real thing. I did X, Y, and Z, so it would really stick it to her. That's some pound cake stuff right there, right? Getting He wanted to get proposed to so we could say no? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just so he's- right, just so he could say no. <laughs> well, a boy likes to be asked. Yeah. Hey, you want to join us a week from Saturday? We're going back out in the lake, the Good Time 3. It's our first time on this giant boat and we'd love to have you along for the ride the largest passenger luxury ship in cleveland we're taking it over